Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another fictional Game Pass quest. So this guide is going to be for the month of June and this is going to be a fictional Game Pass quest for the game Another Crab's Treasure, which is one of the most popular games that's available on Game Pass currently. So we're gonna work on checking out this game and grabbing an achievement and also getting some giveaway entries. So let's take a look at this fictional Game Pass quest that I've got set up here for the month of June. So like it says here, this one is for another crab's treasure. This is going to be worth basically 18 rewards points, and you're gonna earn one giveaway entry for completing this fictional Game Pass quest. Now keep in mind that you're not gonna find this graphic anywhere on your Xbox or on your Xbox mobile app. This is a quest that's created purely by me and it is just for use here on the Rewards Hunter channel. So what we're gonna work on is earning the achievement that's called Captain of the Guard. This is one of the first achievements that you'll earn in Another Crab's Treasure, and this needs to be completed by June 30th in order to get entered into the giveaway. And I'll talk more about that at the very end, what you need to do to get entered into the giveaway. But along the way, since we're gonna earn an achievement, we're gonna get the five points for earning an achievement in a Game Pass game, so that's a daily quest. You'll also get the 10 points for playing a game on your console. I'm gonna assume that you're installing the game on your console and you're gonna play it there. You'll also get the three points for playing a Game Pass game. You'll also be working on your weekly console bonus completed, and you'll also be making progress towards all of the rest of the monthly and weekly quests that are currently available on Game Pass. So let's go ahead and get started in another Crab's Treasure. This one is available on the cloud, but again, I'm gonna assume that you're playing it on console so that you can get those extra points for playing a downloaded game. So this one should take us about 10 minutes or so to finish up. We're gonna work through the first section of the game. We're gonna get some weapons and some shells and we're going to defeat the first boss in the game. So from the main menu, we're just gonna select new game here. And I will say that I did make some minor changes to my game. I did switch the right bumper and the X button just to make my battle a little bit easier, but feel free to go with the default controls. You can skip these opening cutscenes by pressing the menu button and then as soon as you spawn on the beach here, you'll just press Y to talk to the lone shark. And then as soon as he finishes talking, then you're gonna turn around and move up this little hillside here and move towards these little green stone looking things that are up here. You're gonna press Y to take those. So this is your stash of heart kelp. We're gonna move back down the hill and we're gonna to talk to the lone shark one more time. And I will be skipping through as much of this as quickly as I can just to make the video a little bit shorter, but please feel free to explore the game in depth and take it at your own pace. But I'm just gonna show you the fastest way to go ahead and get this achievement. So we will finish up with the dialogue. We lose our shell there, and we're gonna start heading down this path behind us. You can hold down the B button to sprint in this game, so you're gonna see me doing that a bunch. We're gonna press A to jump up this first ledge, and we'll keep passing by the different lone shark pop-ups here. He'll keep popping up out of the water and showing us our shell that he stole from us. But keep heading in the very obvious direction here. You'll talk to him one more time and then we're going to jump into the water and proceed on. So we don't have a shell. We don't have any way to defend ourselves or anything yet. So we're going to take care of that as we move through this first section of the level. So we're gonna hold A while jumping to kind of coast down or float down, however you want to talk about it. They call it swimming, I think, but I would call it more of like a float down. So float down onto this middle pillar here and then float across. And if you do mess up, you can backtrack like I did just there and proceed on. So I did get one or two collectibles here. You don't really have to do any of this. You could just run by this area, but I did go over here and grab one of these little bread claws that was up here. So if you see any little collectibles like this, you know, feel free to grab those and learn about those, but you don't really need them for the achievement. So we'll just keep swimming on, and I'm gonna be holding down the B button to sprint a little bit and run through this area. I would recommend just avoiding all of the crabs that you see in this next area because we don't really have any way to fight them yet. So just hold down the B button and sprint past them. And we're going to escape this area. And then we'll be able to get a weapon just after this. We're gonna get a fork that we can use to fight with. So climb up the little netting here. 
and just up in front of us on this little sandy hill is the fork so that is the weapon for this game so you'll, you'll press y to pick it up but for you to fight with it you'll be using the right bumper and you can just tap the right bumper to swing the fork like it says right there or hold it down to use a charged attack i did eventually change mine and like i said i swapped it to x but for the default player it will just be at the right bumper And again, you can just sprint past all of these crabs that are in your way. You don't have to fight them or pick up any collectibles or anything in this section. As it says right there, you'll just press B to dodge if you want to. And then if you want to focus on somebody that you're fighting against, you can click the right thumbstick. And I did get hurt a little bit there, so I held down the up on the D-pad to heal. So you can do that if you need to. Again, just click the right stick to focus on somebody like I did right there, and the black bars will come up at the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen, so you'll know you're focused on that enemy. So we're going to head up this little hillside to the left, and we're going to jump over to the left and use your float ability if you need to, too. So it's just kind of a double jump. It's like A and then A again to start floating. So we're going to head towards this little helix looking spot over here and you don't even have to interact with this if you don't want to, it's not a requirement, but you can press Y to touch that and you'll unlock that as kind of a checkpoint basically. All right, we're gonna move on up to these bottles. So as long as you've got the fork here, you should be able to break through the bottles. So just use your right bumper, or for me, it's X. So we'll just slash through these and move into the next area. We're not gonna worry about talking to this guy. We're just gonna run basically straight forward. You have a compass at the upper left corner of the screen. So you just wanna head north right now, and we're gonna head back to this castle area back at the very back. So you'll see some more collectibles around here and different enemies that you can fight, but I'm pretty much avoiding just about everybody. There's another moon shell that is up here, so I did stop at this one. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just speed right past it. Alright, so I'm going to jump up out of there and keep following this little plastic pathway here, all these little colorful pieces of plastic meshed into the sand, and cigarette butts along the way. This game has an interesting sense of humor for sure. So you could go up and talk to the two crab guards that are up there, but I'm going to take a right because they want us to have a shell before we go inside. So we're going to actually head over this way and work on getting a shell, and actually our achievement is over this way too. So why don't we just head over this way? This will be a better way to go, right, if the achievement's over here. So let's just keep following along the microplastic pathway here. And we'll go in between the two ketchup flags. And then you'll see a soda machine that is crashed back here. So we're going to head back to the soda machine and we'll press Y to press the little flashing button over here. And that will eject a bunch of soda cans. And the crab is actually able to use these as a shell, so let's go up and do that. We're going to press Y to wear this as a shell. And then as soon as we start to walk away, then we are going to find our first boss. And we have to defeat him in order to get this achievement. So the main move that they want you to use here to fight against the captain of the guard is holding down the left bumper so kind of using your shell to block and defend against his attacks it's really interesting though the default difficulty on this game is hard so this is quite hard to survive i was not able to survive he killed me multiple times so i'm definitely not going to recommend you doing it under the default settings so we're just going to respawn and i'm going to show you the settings that you do want to use here so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the menu button and then we're going to hit the right bumper a few times to go over to this options menu, go down to settings, 
and then we're going to turn on this assist mode that is close to the bottom here. So it'll give you a little bit of information about the assist settings and how those are not the defaults, but we're going to press A to turn on the assist mode, and then we're going to press A a couple of times to change this top preset to where it says story. And then a couple more changes that I like to make, go down and press A on slow down game speed so that it says low, and then turn this toggle on that says give Krill a gun. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna press B, and then we are going to go down to exit and press A, and then go up to resume and press A. So your crab should now have a gun on his back. So this is a shell, this counts as a shell. He's got his body inside of the base of the gun. So what we need to do is we need to move over and reactivate the Coke machine here, the soda machine. So we'll press Y one more time there to get it to pop out all the soda cans. And we do need to be wearing one of the soda cans to initiate this battle. So we're just gonna move up temporarily to one of the soda cans, swap into that shell, and then we're gonna swap right back into the gun in just a second. So you need to be wearing the gun, but right now let's move over and just get the captain of the guard to activate his cutscene. And then we're gonna immediately walk back over to the gun and put that back on. So we'll walk right back over to our gun, press Y to swap, and then you're gonna hold down the left bumper to block here when you need to, and then you're just gonna be using your right bumper to attack, or X if you swapped it like I did. So you see how I'm blocking when he's swinging as much as I can? And sometimes you will still get hit, but hopefully with the gun shell, you know, it's much stronger. You should be able to defeat him this way. So it does take a couple minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and skip over most of the battle, but that is pretty much it. So you're just going to be shielding when you need to, and then just attacking with your right bumper. And eventually you'll be able to defeat him. And I will show an easier way to defeat him in just a second if you're having trouble with that. But that will get you the Captain of the Guard achievement right there if you're able to defeat him just using the gun as your shield, as your shell. And that is the achievement that you need for the Fictional Game Pass quest. Now if you don't mind getting two achievements at once, here's another way you can do it. You can click your right thumbstick to focus on him and then press X to use your shell's special ability, which is basically just to fire the gun and shoot him with it. So if you do it that way, you'll get two achievements at once. You'll also get the This Kills the Crab achievement right there. But that is definitely easier than the first method that I showed where you're just using the gun for the defensive capabilities and attacking with your fork. But either way will work. Either way, you will get the Captain of the Guard achievement for defeating Nefro. And that is the only achievement that you need for the fictional Game Pass quest. Now there is one other thing that I will ask of you. If you wanna be entered into the giveaway, then you'll need to fill out a Google form. So I'll post the link here in the video and in the description. So if you're interested in winning a copy of Just Dance 2024 edition, Thanks again to Ubisoft for giving us these codes and sharing these with the Rewards Hunter community. But if you're interested in earning a copy of Just Dance 2024, then go ahead and fill out the Google form. Make sure that you have earned the achievement. And if you already had this achievement by chance, don't worry about that. Just make sure that you play a little bit of this game during the course of the month of June. So just make sure that you play a little bit of Another Crab's Treasure during the month of June, and you should be in good shape. Again, just fill out the Google form. And the only reason that I need the information on the Google form, I'll just be asking for your gamer tag, and I'll use that to share the code with you if you do happen to win in the giveaway. So I've got two codes to give away this month, so good luck to everybody. I hope you're able to win a copy, and I hope you're able to get the 18 rewards points out of this, get the achievement, and get yourself one step closer to finishing all of your monthly quests. So that is pretty much it for today. I'll be back with more fictional Game Pass quests in future months. I'll have more guides coming out for Tome in the next couple weeks and more Achievement of the Week guides. So I will look forward to seeing you all in those future guides. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit the bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description if you want to stay connected. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.